Upon entering the Espacio Cobb residence, the natural environment immediately captivates. Walking here is entering a unique ecosystem. A giant organ cactus surrounded by tamarind trees is a legacy of the semi-arid terrain in Kamala, a small town near Colima, the capital of the homonymous Mexican province. Defrena architects used natural materials such as stone, compacted earth, carrizo fabrics, and a traditional stucco form to make the house appear like a volume that emerged organically from the ground. Large openings on both sides of the dining room give the impression of a continuous space between indoor and outdoor areas. Next to the dining room is a painting studio. Seeking to perceive the house as a volume extruded from the earth, maintaining raw, imperceptible tones respectful to the terrain, led to the selection of materials. Locally sourced materials, including palm wood, river stones, and Carrizo fabric ceilings, similar to reed, were used, along with compacted earth walls constructed using the ancient technique of compacting the earth until it attains the density and structural integrity of concrete. The chukum stucco in eggshell color that adorns many walls of the house is also the result of ancient construction techniques and native Mexican materials. The first floor is the main level of the house, featuring a lush courtyard that guides us through the house and towards views of a nearby historic farm. The spatial solution respects the topography, adapting and attaching itself to the context. The resulting dialogue between linear structures and the surrounding environment forms the central theme that the house proposes, an organic expression of beauty. This dialogue between landscape and structure opens courtyards and terraces, 
enclosed gardens and unique views of the river and gorge in the background, providing different sensations as one moves through the house from various heights and scales. An image of the typical Mexican house is created, a colonial architectural tradition that benefits from courtyards. Surprises and pauses blend with references to evident Japanese architecture, with beams placed in an impeccable rhythm throughout the different volumes of the house, creating open spaces with perspectives that emerge from within the construction. Two additional bedrooms are housed in separate volumes in the courtyard, providing more privacy and independence. The main concept was to generate spaces where the boundary between inside and outside is subtle, where the strips and colors of the context are integrated into the nuances of the building. Walking barefoot on the deliberately chosen natural stone floor blurs the distinction between inside and outside, allowing one to revel in the phenomenology that materiality evokes in our five senses. Retaining walls mark paths with corners and spaces for contemplation. The partially sunken ground floor contains two suites accessed from inside the house.
The project's main premises remained constant throughout all phases of development, influencing every corner and element, from the distribution and placement of volumes to the interior design that added the final touch to the house. Furniture provides textures and scents using stones and woods in their purest state, accompanied by indirect and perfectly highlighted lighting. The experience of living in this house is enriched by the honesty of the natural state of the materials. Thank you.